seeing so many medical complications in areas where spraying was done, the Muliar village panchayat, which is the local self-governing body, banned the use or sale of pesticides. Yangalada kasuvandi ne ulpadi ke pon yangalu kiran asinu thali kele endo sulfan thali kari lla. Plantation corporation de plot leko matre me idu thali kundu lo. Adu pin ne ipper endo varshai thali kadi kundu. Yangal nirandhan samaran arthi ne baga mai te endo varshai thali kundu lla. Thali kadi idu thini chestum abirada yield kudi rikunu. Adan yangal ke vijitra rikunu thi. Yield koranya thala kudi adan lla thi. Apa pin ne idinde konde endo guna mana nerthen daide. Guna munda itu lalu PC kereta utara pada petala gelukup, adu peraturan company kari ku ana, ini komision yang berapa ok anda itu lalu. Today India uses 10 million liters of endosulfan, making it the largest user in the world. Kasaragod is just one example of the tragedy India is heading to. The Indian Council of Medical Research in a study found large amounts of pesticide residues in fruits. Vegetables, pulses, grains, wheat flour, eggs, meat, fish, poultry and milk. The daily breakfast, lunch and dinner we relish could actually be a cocktail of chemicals. It is a complex issue. Pests destroy crops around 15 billion rupees every year in India. To save their crops, farmers use pesticides. But most of them spray it in excess, hoping it would be more effective. Studies have shown that only 10% of the sprayed pesticide hits the pests. The atmosphere absorbs the rest. So it goes on to destroy land and water bodies. Harmless insects that nature created to destroy pests also die in the process. Farmers do not even take the basic precautions like covering their face and wearing gloves while spraying. The pesticide industry in India is booming. It is worth over 50 billion rupees. As pesticide residues cross tolerable limits in Indian agricultural products, Many countries are now rejecting Indian tea and grapes, among other foodstuff. Sabji par jab bhi hum spray dalte hain, to sab spray ka jo asar hai, jo sabji mein ho jata hai, usse sundi vagara to mari jati hai. Lekin uska asar jo hai, so sabji mein ho jata hai. Jo sabji hum bazaar mein leke jate hain, bazaar mein se aage public kriti hai, to us public ke upar is spray ka bura asar pad raha hai. When India's green revolution started, Punjab had a pioneering role. But today there is a dark reality playing out in its fields. Excessive use of pesticides is taking its toll. Its topsoil and water bodies are contaminated with chemicals. Health is another casualty. हर चीज को आप जो है ना मतलब इतने केमिकल्स खाते हैं इनसे तरह तरह की बीमारियां नेचुरली बढ़ेंगी आपका रेजिस्टेंस है आपका इम्यून सिस्टम है सारा डिस्टर्ब हो जाता है उससे और बीमारियां फैलती हैं। As pesticide was expensive, farmers took huge loans, but soon insects developed immunity to pesticides and merrily ate into the crops. The farmers who were well-to-do once upon a time got caught in the unending whirlpool of debt. Punjabi farmers were among the toughest in India, but in the last few years, hundreds of them committed suicide. Their pride could not accept the shame that came with a money lender knocking on their doors. Welcome to Harkishanpura in Punjab. Once upon a time, it was fertile, fetching huge returns for its cotton crop. Today, villagers are struggling with huge debts that came with chemical farming. The land and water has been devastated with poison. Every year brings in more losses. The local self-governing body in the village has announced that Harkishanpura is up for sale. Almost every family reels under debt as high as 600,000 rupees. सारे पिंड की पोजिशन बहुत ठीक सी 
ਕੋਈ ਸਾਡੇ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਕੋਈ ਕਰਜ਼ਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਵਧੀਆ ਆਪਦਾ ਚੰਗੀ ਫਸਲ ਕਰਦੇ ਸੀ ਚੰਗਾ ਖਾਂਦੇ ਪੀਂਦੇ ਸੀ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਜਦੋਂ ਨਰਮੇ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸੁੰਡੀ ਪੈਣ ਲੱਗ ਗਈ ਨਰਮਾ ਹੁਣੋਂ ਹਟ ਗਿਆ ਅਸੀਂ ਉਹ ਤੇ ਖਰਚ ਕਰੀ ਗਏ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਪਰੇਹਾਂ 30 30 35 35 ਸਪਰੇਹਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਨਰਮੇ ਤੇ ਕਰਦੇ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਕਾਫੀ ਖਰਚਾ ਸਾਡੇ ਜਿੰਮੇ ਪੈ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਪਰ ਨਰਮਾ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਇਨਸਟੈਡ ਆਫ ਡਿਸਟਰੋਇੰਗ ਦਾ ਪੈਸਟੀਸਾਈਡ ਕੰਟੇਨਰਸ ਵਿਲੇਜਰਸ ਰੀਯੂਜ਼ ਥੈਮ ਟੂ ਸਟੋਰ ਫੂਡ ਸਟਫ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਥੈਟ ਯੂਜ਼ਸ ਇਟ ਟੂ ਸਟੋਰ ਕਰਡ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਰੇ ਸਪਰੇ ਕਰਦੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਬਾਲਟੀ ਚ ਘੋਲ ਕਰਦੇ ਆਂ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਬਾਲਟੀ ਧੋ ਕੇ ਉਦਵਾਚ ਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਘਰੇ ਲਿਆਉਣੇ ਆ ਉਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਪਾਣੀ ਪੀਨੇ ਆ ਉਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਨਹਾਉਣੇ ਆ ਜਾਂ ਡੱਬਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਉਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਘਰੇ ਲਿਆਉਣੇ ਆ ਔਰ ਲੈਟਰਾਂ ਦੇ ਥਲੇ ਦੇ ਘਰੇ ਪਿਆ India gloated over the success of the green revolution that introduced pesticides and agrochemicals but it failed to see what it did in terms of destroying the rich biodiversity pesticides have persistent organic pollutants within that can dangerously hang around in our ecosystem for decades if it settles on land and water bodies it could result in neurological disorders weakening of the immune system and play havoc with the endocrine system affecting growth and reproduction it is little wonder that in areas where pesticide use is rampant genetic disorders and infertility clinics are thriving one of the persistent organic pollutants is ddt india still uses a large amount of ddt though it is officially banned in agriculture Studies have even shown pesticide in breast milk samples from Punjab. Scientists at the National Cancer Institute in the United States say that exposure to pesticides could cause cancer. Pesticides enhance the risks of cancer by acting as carcinogens. Studies have shown that pesticides suppress the immune system, allowing cancerous cells to escape and form a tumor. ਜਿਹੜਾ ਬੰਦਾ ਸਪਰੇ ਕਰਕੇ ਆਉਂਦਾ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਰਾਤ ਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਸੌਣ ਨਹੀਂ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਜੀ ਵੀ ਕਿਤੇ ਸੁੱਤਾ ਪਿਆ ਹੀ ਨਾ ਰਹੇ ਜੀ ਅੱਖਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਖੁਰਕ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਬਾਕੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਆ ਚਾਮੜੀ ਤੇਰਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਅਸਰ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਜੀ ਚਾਮੜੀ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਖੁਰਕ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਰਹਿੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਪਿੰਡੇ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਚਾਮੜੀ ਰੋਗ ਲੱਗ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਆ ਜੀ ਤੇ ਮਗਰੋਂ ਕਹਿ ਲੋ ਟਾਈਮ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਜੀ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਬੰਦੇ ਦੀ ਉਸ ਦੀ ਦਾਰੂ ਪੀਤੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਨਸ਼ਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਜੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਹਦੇ The presence of adulterated pesticides in the Indian market is more dangerous due to weaker chemicals pests do not die but quickly develop resistance man is finding more and more use for the chemical but the regulatory as agencies are not kept pace with that so the whole objective is defeated making the area a free lawn for these people to play the the gross violation of human rights this cannot happen anywhere else but the people will revolt this apathy the kind of apathy from the government regulatory agencies and the multinational companies are really mind boggling in this country unless something is done quickly and effectively situation may go out of control and this nation will soon become a sick state over 600 farmers in nasik district have switched from chemical farming to organic farming This has come out of the realization that organic farming is the only way out to breathe life into their degraded land. Nasik has large grape farms that pump in pesticides worth 40 to 60,000 rupees per acre. A study on female grape workers in India found that exposure to pesticides led to a high rate of abortions. Abhilash Gorhe who grows grapes, pulses and cereals in Nasik has completely shifted to organic farming. After a bout of chemical farming, he opted to grow food that is free of poison. His farms are full of flowers and butterflies. He lets the weeds grow as it is a part of the natural ecosystem in a field. No wonder then that natural predators like black ants are actively eating the pests that attack his grape orchard. He's teaching other farmers to use leaves of various plants like the papaya, castor and custard apple to make biopesticides. When Madhav Rao Barve from Kothure village of Nasik in Maharashtra started farming 50 years ago, there were no pesticides. 
he used natural elements like neem and castor cakes to fight pests. Then came pesticides. Initially, the yield shot up, but it soon fell as the land got poisoned. Today, Mother Rao is back to organic farming. His organically grown sugarcane earns him higher profits as he does not have to invest in expensive pesticides. Every year, his yield improves as the soil on his farm is getting richer. 